There is fear and even outrage after a volley of gunshots just feet from a Washington treasure. Those gunshots left three men wounded on Cedar Street in Southeast. That's right beside the Frederick Douglass National Historic Site. A massive manhunt for the armed suspects followed. Jay Korf is outside D.C. Police Headquarters. He's been following this case since those shots rang out. Jay. And Candace, at this hour, investigators are searching for up to three male suspects, probably we are told in their early 20s. And after you see what happened earlier today, you can understand why police want them off the streets. Right behind the ambulance right there is where we found one gentleman who was on the ground. The sheer number of evidence markers at this crime scene reveals a sobering reality. I'm hearing about it. I'm saying, what? This is crazy. <laughs> For several agonizing moments, madness reigned along Cedar Street in southeast Washington. D.C. police say late Sunday afternoon, three men in their 20s were hit by gunfire on a street that sits just below the historic home of iconic abolitionist Frederick Douglass. Their clothes were strewn along the sidewalk, not far from where investigators believe some 20 shots were fired by up to three suspects who were the target of an intense search. It, well, yeah. That's that's a lot. Police say the victim's injuries appear to be non life threatening, but the fact that bullets were flying wildly in this community had residents shaken as they returned from Easter Sunday festivities on a holy day. People going and coming from church out and about things like this. No question shocked for something like this to be going down here in this neighborhood. The reason violence erupted on this day remains uncertain. Some residents suspect drug dealing, a crime that they say still unfolds along a street lined with stately homes that date back a century. Police have not released a motive, so residents for now are left to wonder what sparked this rage. Whatever reason, it cannot justify somebody going up and hurting or trying to kill somebody. We should know police tell us that the that at least two of the victims were actually driven or drove themselves to a nearby fire station and they were then turned around and quickly transported to a hospital. Live outside DC Police Headquarters, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News.